This video lesson is on the measures of money supply. What are the functions of money? To be a good medium of exchange, money must be accepted by people when they buy and sell goods and services. It should be portable or easily carried from place to place. It must also be divisible so that large and small transactions can be made. It must also be uniform so that a particular unit, such as a quarter, represents the same value as every other quarter. To be a good standard of value or unit of account, money must be useful for quoting prices. To accomplish this, money must be familiar, divisible, and accepted. To be a good store of value, Money must be durable so that it can be kept for future use. It also should have a stable value so people do not lose purchasing power if they use the money at a later time. How is money defined and measured? There is general agreement on a simple conceptual definition of money. However, the complexity of the real world and our rapidly evolving financial system prevent agreement on a single measure of money, and this can cause confusion. The measures of money supply include M1, M2, and M3. M1 is the narrowest definition and measure of the money supply. It includes assets used primarily for transactions or as a medium of exchange. M1 includes currency and coin held by the non-bank public, demand deposits, or other checkable deposits in traveler's checks. M2 is a broader measure of money stock. In addition to the items included in M1, M2 includes the amount held in savings and small-time deposits, money market deposit accounts, and certain other short-term money market assets. M3 is an even broader definition of the money supply. It includes all the components of M2 plus a number of financial assets and instruments generally employed by large businesses and financial institutions. We can look at the three definitions of money in the following terms. M1 includes items that are primarily used as a medium of exchange. M2 includes items that are used as a store of value. And M3 includes items that serve as a unit of account.